Uh, so we get a tool that can measure distances from where far away as this person wants to. Standing at point A, he uses it to find the distance from him to the top of the tower is 475 feet. So we've got a tower. We've got Jim. Whoop. Uh, so it says 475 feet from him directly to the top of the tower. So the top's going to be up here. Okay, angle of elevation is 55, horizontal hypotenuse triangle of elevation. Find the height of the tower. It wants to know how tall the tower is right there. All right, so this is going to be a Sokotoa problem because we have an angle involved. Uh, hypotenuse is right there. Opposites right there. Adjacent over here. I know the hypotenuse. I want to know the opposite. It means this is going to be a sine problem. Uh, let's see. The hypotenuse is 475. I don't know the opposite. The angle is 55. Since I know the angle, I'm going to put it over 1 and cross multiply. 0.819. So I get x equals, because when I cross multiply the decimal, it gets multiplied directly by the 55. And I get 45.053. Uh, it says nearest hundredth, that means round to five using the three. So my final answer is going to be 45 point. I, didn't, I did not multiply that by the right thing. Let me redo that. I multiplied it by 55 for whatever reason. So it's 475. So it's that decimal. 475. 389.097. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, Double checking. I made that mistake. I want to make sure to take it in there. Okay, so 389.097. It says nearest hundred. That means I'm going to round to zero using the nine, which is 389.10.